Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, classmates. Our topic is all about photorealism. What is photorealism? A photorealism is also known as superrealism, which is an extremely realistic style of painting and drawing, in which the artwork is based entirely on a photograph. It is an artwork so realistic that the boundaries between the reality and imagination blur. The results will make a viewer do a double take, leading them to believe that an artist has created a photo using raw materials. In contemporary art, the term photorealism, photorealism or photographic realism describes a style of highly detailed 20th century realist painting, in which the artist attempts to replicate an image from a photograph in all its microscopic exactness. It was established by an American author and art dealer, Louise K. Mesa, in 1969. Photorealism is a genre of art that encompasses a painting, drawing, and other graphic media in which an artist studies a photograph and then attempts to reproduce the image as realistically as possible in another medium. There are sample artworks of photorealism. First is the Farb family portrait which was created in 1970 by Audrey Flack in photorealism style. It is a portrait of a wealthy family and Flack also created a number of iconic works including a portrait of Michelangelo's David in 1971. Second is the Triple Sphere Fade to Black which was created by Charles Bell in 1994. It is a lustrous composition of children's marbles, one of Bell's most favored subjects which glow like precious gemstones on a glittering, mirrored surface reflecting, refracting and diffusing light within their calidus copic depths. It is also 3D marbles with a different color, size, and design. Another one is a flowered tabletop which was created in the year 1978 by Ralph Goings in a photorealism style. The medium used was watercolor and graphite on a paper in a 10 by 10 size. Another artwork is Shiva Blue. It is also a photorealism style which was created by Audrey Flack in the year 1973. Its genre is still life. Another one is Tabasco Pete and his gang. Tabasco Beat and His Gang was created in the year 1996 by Glenn Ray Tutor in photorealism style. Glenn Ray Tutor also uses a symbol such as oil on canvas and battle. Its genre is also a still life. McDonald's Pickup is also another sample of photorealism artwork. It is a McDonald's branch on a highway somewhere in the American South in a parking lot out front a white pickup truck in the merciless turn sun. Projecting vertically are a lonely palm tree and a fog pole with the stars and stripes hanging limb. It's a typical American motif that Ralph Goings depicted in his painting from 1970. Another one is a season of moment. A season of moment was also created by Glenn Ray Tutor in the year 2003 in a photorealism style. Its genre is still life. Jolly Madame is also created by Audrey Flack in the year 1973. It is one of the first paintings in which Flack examined the time bonding potential of objects and elaborated the formal possibilities of still life on a monumental scale. It may be easily read as with the label on the perfume bottle that gives the work its title, but it is not readily scrutinized. The lack of hierarchy in the objects portrayed, the shallow depth of field and elements, such as the use of highlights across the painting, including the jewelry in the foreground that seemingly merge with its reflections, combine to give the work an absurd quality, despite its pictorial subject matter. Another one is Cup Guns, which also created by Glenn Ray Tutor in the year 1995 in a photorealism style. Its genre is also a still life. Lastly is the Sweet and Glow. Sweet and Glow was also created by Ralph Goings in the year 1990, which is also a photorealism style and a genre of still life. 
The major muse was prints and multiples, serigraph.